Hello, it's Thursday, um, around two o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, I didn't do no filming this morning because it was snowing and I was driving an ATV looking for uh, spruce grouse and rabbit and I didn't see nothing. So here's the, the camp, wood stove, just got the gun rack there and you get the bathroom, the two bedrooms, the kitchen and the uh, recycling bin. As you can see, um, this is five days and that's quite the uh, size of a recycling can and it's full. We're going to be overflowing by uh, supper time. Um, you know, uh, it's kind of washed out there, you can't really see it. Um, anyway, the camp here is right on the uh, ocean, uh, beach is right there. The waves today are rolling, you could almost surf. You know, if you had a dry suit and uh, weren't afraid of freezing to death. Uh, there's waves are coming up so high that there's actually spray coming off of them. There's some uh, saltwater ducks out there, some gulls flying around. Um, it's pretty quiet right now, but usually there's a few foxes around the camp and gray jays all over the place. It's a very nice spot. I'll uh, get some uh, video of the outside there. The you know it's all conifers with uh, moss ground underneath, and that's pretty much the whole island. Uh, put some bread out there for the see if any of the birds will come to get a photo. Who knows? They might. I don't know if you can hear it in the background too, the uh, sound of the ocean, but it's it's nice, relaxing at night. Hear the waves. Get a good fire going in here and uh, it warms up nice. The bathroom's not much to speak of. It's kind of tight, but the, the bedrooms are, are okay. Um, like I got this room to myself because we're only three in the camp. Um, usually it's four to five in a camp, but there was some cancellations. So we ended up only being three. And so the other bedroom actually has a bunk bed and uh, another bed by itself. The camp's uh, about 20 by 30. The kitchen's all right. You got everything you need here. Propane stove, propane fridge with a freezer. And uh, the lights are all run off solar. And they actually have dial timers. Uh, so they, they turn off and you got to go and turn the timer back up. And uh, But the plugs are all 12 volt off the solar. So you can't plug in any appliances. You can't plug in even your cell phone to charge it. It just, uh, it won't work. There's actually a, in the room I'm using, it's uh, underneath the little shelf, there's actually like a, a 12 volt uh, plug like you'd have in a car for the old lighters, it's like underneath there. So if you have the adapter for that, you can plug in your phone there that way. But it's uh, the only way to charge, or uh, you have a battery pack, or you, the guides camp, they have a generator. So if the guide's nice enough, he'll take, uh, excuse me, he'll take his, uh, <clears throat> your stuff over there and charge it for you in the evening uh, off the generator. So yeah, I'm gonna try and relax the rest of the night. The, they told me I could go up the beach and walk the side of the river for, uh, for birds later if I wanted to, but I think I'm just gonna rest the rest of the night. Um, I might walk up later and have a look at the meat shed and get some video up in there because I never really videoed anything in there. It's pretty full now. Our camp finished today. So our camp's got our six deer. And I believe they were missing, for the 10 people in the other two camps, they were missing seven deer as of this morning. Um, the two brothers that are staying with me, uh, one guy's got a, a doe and a... I got two does. And his brother, who uh, paid for the other brother's trip as a present for his retirement, got two eight points. One of them was uh, slightly piebald. Uh, very nice racks, very symmetrical. And uh, it's just luck. Like, you know, I saw a six point and a spike while I was hunting. Never had a shot at really at either. And I got the spike horn and the, the doe. And while I was driving today to uh, look for bird, 
I spooked up a 10 point. You know, I didn't, I would never have had a shot off the, the ATV, but, you know, if I would have been walking and been there at the right time, you know, I might have had a shot with a rifle for a 10 point. <clears throat> but what's nice about here is too is, you know, you don't have to just walk in the woods and hunt. You can, there's places you can sit, there's trails you can walk. If you want to hunt from the truck, the guide will drive you around all day in the truck to hunt from the truck. And you can even walk the beach because the deer come down onto the beach to eat the uh, seaweed and the kelp grass that wash up ashore. So there's a lot of different ways to hunt here. And some people say, oh, well, it's uh, it's too easy to hunt, too easy to hunt. It's, I mean, if you want to drive in the truck, yeah, you could say that. But... You know, there's uh, those three days that I hunted till I shot my deer. I did, you know, eight to ten kilometers of walking each day. Easy. Because just last night, I went for a walk for bird and rabbit. I did ten kilometers walking on the road. So, it can happen that you're going to walk hard and walk long. But, it'll also happen that you could just say, okay, well, I'm going to sit in this little... Uh, box blind they got built in a few places along the roads or mostly in crossroad areas where multiple roads meet up and you could just get dropped off sit there all day and shoot your deer or there are the peat moss bogs you know just walk to the edge of those and wait for something to come in the open it's really uh the hunt is as hard as you want it to be or as easy as you want it to be the last time I was here, uh, one of the guys in our group, he, uh, an older gentleman, and he just wanted to hunt from the truck, and he got two nice deer hunting from the truck. Both does, but nice size does. You know, like uh, the guy here that got a two, a two eight points, 140 pounds and 150 pounds. Those are heavy deer for the island. Uh, last time I was here, the biggest deer shot was a 10 point at what else, 110 pounds. You know, you talk to the mainland, you know, a, a good size 10 point, 180, 200 pounds, easy. So, it's a smaller body deer, but it's tastier, I find. Anyway, I think I already covered that in another video. Um, so that's the camp tour. And uh, I'll try and get some footage of the uh, meat shed uh, tonight or tomorrow morning. But that pretty much going to wrap up uh, the Anacosti vlogs. Um... So I hope you enjoy, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you soon. It's snowing. Uh, it's more like ice pellets than snow, really. We had five centimeters of snow Monday night, and then last night we had another two centimeters of snow. And there is that fox that's been hanging around. He's back again. He's just on the other side of the barbecue. I can't see him. Maybe if I come over here to the window. No. He keeps coming around. Uh, found him on the porch once even. I think he was trying to get the bread. There he goes. Because uh, I put some bread for the birds. I think he was trying to get up to get the bread. And now he's just walking around in the woods there. Cute little fella. There was three of them here the morning we got, the morning, the first morning we were here. We got here at, late at night and we slept. And when we woke up in the morning waiting for the guide, there was three little foxes. Now there's just the one that I see. They're probably around there, maybe at the other camps. It's nice too, I like, is the fact that, you know, there's three camps here and uh, it's solid woods between them like you can't see the other camp unless you go up to the road and walk or go down the beach you're not going to see the other camp so that's nice anyway that's it for now